What's up guys? This is JB with Ride JBI. Today we're going to be taking apart a Showa A-Kit shock that is currently set up for supercross riding and we are going to revalve it for motocross riding. And we figured why we are taking it apart, we'll show you guys the insides. All right guys, so this shock has what's called a check valve inside of it. What that means is it's very restrictive on compression, but it allows it to rebound quickly like it normally should. I'll show you a demonstration of that. So pushing all my weight onto it, this shock is really hard to compress. And when you let go, we see that it rebounds just as quickly as a shock normally should. All right guys, so this is the internal shock shaft assembly. Uh, we'll start at the bottom. You'll see that the rebound clicker is different than stock. The bumper housing is pretty much the same. The bumper is just like an OEM bumper. The bumper cap, is just like OEM, and the seal head is just like an OEM shock. Uh, you do see that the shock shaft has been coated that comes this way from Showa. Um, it is some sort of titanitride coating. Um, it is very common for all of them to wear on shocks. Uh, that's why here at JBI, we prefer to only do DLC on shock shafts. Uh, the shock piston itself is a Showa shock piston. Um, but the main notable feature about it, man, is inside of the shock shaft right in there. You see that hex? That accepts an Allen key and that controls how much bypass bleed we have through the shock shaft. So it goes through that center, comes out these side holes right here. Typically, we regulate those with the rebound clicker, but instead we can, re we can regulate them with this shaft needle instead. Um, what that does is allows us to isolate the compression and rebound circuits inside of the shock. Uh, this is usually most beneficial for supercross riding, supermoto, uh, mostly applications that require a lot of low speed compression. This is what the shock shaft looks like just on its own and with the internal shaft jet removed. Uh, We're going to modify this part of the shock for motocross riding. Um, it's a really neat feature of all uh, Showa A kit shocks that I have seen. Um, being able to tune this feature is really beneficial and very easy. All right guys, so this is the A-Kit compression adjuster from Showa. The most notable thing you will see is that how big in diameter it is, meaning that, that it has a very big piston, this piece right here. Uh, the coolest feature about it though is that it features a sub-valve inside of it. 
that would be this piece right here with the holes going around the outside. Uh, what this means is it allows us to control the bleed bypass, which is controlled by your compression clicker with a shim stack as well, or you cannot run a shim stack and have it be an open bleed. All right, guys, this is looking at the shim stack inside of the compression adjuster. This is the main piston. Here's the back side of it. These two shims are wave washers. They act as a check valve. And then these are the shims for the compression piston. And these are the shims for the step valve. That is this piece right here. Again, this part is not found in OEM production shocks. Uh, you can get a similar feature inside of the MX Tech triple adjuster uh, that they make for Showa, KYB, and WP shocks. Uh, this is a very stiff setting, so we again are going to revalve this for motocross along with the uh, main piston as well. All right, guys, so this is the seal head from that shock. As you can see, the seal head is just like a production OEM seal head, it uses the same dust seal, bushing, o-ring, oil seal, and all the rest of the parts that you would find in a uh, production style shower shock. Um, on this rebuild, we're going to replace the dust seal, that's this guy, the bushing, because we got some wear inside of it, there it is right there, and also the seal and the o-ring. All right, guys, this is the shock piston out of that A-kit shock. Uh, very much just like an OEM shock piston you'd find out of a Showa shock that utilizes a 18 millimeter shaft. Uh, this is the compression side and this is the rebound side. We're gonna get this all cleaned up and then install it back onto the shock. We got the uh, valving all sorted out already on the compression side. And now we're gonna sort out all of the valving on the rebound side. All right, guys, one last look at this A-Kit show of shock before we put it back together. This one's definitely got some use on it, but all the critical wear parts have been replaced. Again, A-Kit componentry shares a lot of parts with production stuff, which is awesome. That means stuff that is developed and made for A-Kit stuff, it's seen its way into our production bikes. Now, I got a lot of work to do here at the shop. Fortunately, things have not slowed down since COVID, so I'm not gonna be able to walk you through how we assemble this. Um, but just like any other shock, there's two ways you can do it. Uh, you can put it on a bleeder machine, like we got over here, or you can put the shock in a vise and hand bleed it as well.